Cliff Maoli welcoming you to the 22nd annual Celebration of the Arts. Aloha and I am so happy to welcome you all to Celebration of the Arts. It is an amazing time for local people and for our visitors to come together and to understand and to share what Hawaiian culture is all about what we are all about, and to see us in our natural environment. Hey, LA calling the sun. If you notice, everything stops. All the trees, all the, you know, all the animals, they, they stop and wait for the sun to come because the sun brings us this cultural energy that we need to, to bring us energy in, in life and so when we call on the sun you know uh, we're actually receiving that energy that's that's coming in for us I'm here to celebrate the arts at uh, Rich Carlton Kapalua with, with um, Clifford Naiole and I'm very pleased that we get to celebrate the flute, the Ohehano Ihu, a very important instrument for Hawaiian people. I'm a Lauhala weaver and um, I learned from some of the kupunas, four from Maui, three from the Big Island, and they taught me all kinds of stuff. And it's uh, old Hawaiian art, or Polynesian art anyway, and I've been doing it for, this will be 21 years now. <laughs> I've been fortunate to be here for the first one. I missed only one out of the, the, the 22 of them. And every year it just gets better. The quality of, of uh, Hawaiian culture is enhanced because of programs like this. And not, not only uh, the, the, the cultural practices, but the whole kuka, when people start talking to each other. You know, even people that, that don't normally talk to each other come here and they start talking to each other. And you know, Clifford uh, brings uh, such interesting topics and make us think. And I know a lot of uh, important Hawaiian decisions were made as a result of people that just happened to be here talking. And uh, for me, I've learned so much more about the culture outside of my hana and you know, stuff like that because of, of, of things like you know, this, uh, this event. <laughs> putting this on every year. The hard part is how do you top it off every single year? <clears throat> how do you beat it? 
and it's, I gotta take take a sense of growth, you know, um, growth in going deep into Hawaiian issues, growth in going forward and trying to imagine what Hawaii will be like in the year 2020. So involving all of those, what was, what is, what will be, I think that's what makes Celebration of the Arts, is inviting people who want to think about these things, who use what was to understand what is, and then push us forward. That's Celebration of the Arts. I try to keep the culture alive here. And nobody wants to do this kind of stuff because it's too hard. So my goal is to teach the kickers how to do all these kind of things so it can stay here with us in the next generation. The woods I use mostly are koa. I like to use koa because it's a native wood from Hawaii. And a lot of the stuff that I do is um, canoe paddles, canoes, you know, all the things to do with Hawaii. Lahala strippers, tapa beaters, whatever. Whatever the people need to keep the culture going, I can make it. Oi Kapala is our bamboo printing. Okay. And what it is is that it comes from our, our kapa milk. So basically, we're using the ohe or the bamboo. These are specific designs based upon our elements within our places and it tells us where we're from based upon our ocean, our reef, our river, our valley, our wind, our puhala from the hala tree or the pandanus tree and that is the fruit from this tree right here behind me. The fruit of the tree dries, it falls out to the ground and we don't waste it because that could be for our brush. I'm from Niihau, born and raised on Niihau and um, I do the Niihau shells. That's, I come here every year to do that. Uh, 22 years, it's such a fantastic record. Uh, an event to go on and um, I've been here for 21 of them and I, I'm so, so fortunate that Clifford always calls me and to come and, and help and I think the Hawaiian culture really owes Clifford a, a, a big um, recognition. <laughs> film is Malamako Aloha and Manono. Such a beautiful lady, Auntie Nona. She was protecting the culture. Her celebration was Malamako Aloha. And that's what we're doing here too, you know. We're celebrating the arts. <laughs> Hey, mahalo for being here for, this is our official Maui premiere for our film, Auntie Nona Beaver, Malama Ko Aloha. And I was blessed to have worked with Auntie for nearly 15 years and filming her journey and working with Kaola and the whole Beaver Ohana. And it's kind of changed my life. If you guys ever, I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you worked with Aunt, uh, Auntie, you met her, she had that effect to just change you. Uh, for us, she represented many things. Uh, but one thing for sure, she represented the rainbow. The rainbow that keeps us connected to who we are. Nona teaches us how to tell our story in different ways and how to reach out to people, to, to bring them on our side. To you, Kupuna, 
Bow your O God for all your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Bow your O God for your boy Kiki to take over where you left off. And here we try to do the best that we can. You know, we were all fortunate enough to um, have spent time with Auntie Nona. And for those of you that um, don't know Auntie Nona, I promise you by the end of this film, you think that you knew Auntie the rest of your life. You knew her all your life. Okay. sharing her story with all of us tonight and I'm sure all of us have our own stories uh, of our time that Auntie Nona shared with us. Take care of your love. And that was her battle cry. Malamako Allah. Ay, 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 ay,